kangaroos. They're on ancient rock art. They're on our national coat of arms. They're on our jets. Sometimes they're even on our plates. Surely these lovable national icons can't be deadly as well. Oh my God. Don't get too close, Mom. Ooh. See, aggressive scratching, standing up, showing off, saying you want a bit of it. I'll take you, mate. He has a level of musculature that we could only dream of. Red kangaroos have the second largest difference in body size between the males and females. This is what we call sexual dimorphism. And in this case, it means that the males are heaps bigger, like sometimes two times the size of females. And on top of that, the males put on muscle at a rate that is astronomic compared to the females. And that's why he looks so swole, so ripped, so ready to like bench press someone. They never skip arm day. Yeah. Like, oh dear. Oh my God, look at him. He's so muscly, he's lost his neck. Stop it. Don't bloody break the thing. Oh, God, crap. Yeah, that is terrifying, because these are a big, strong animal. I suspect that he is seeing his own reflection, so he's not actually trying to get into their storage room. What's really surprising is how big that kangaroo's paws are. They actually really resemble human hands when you see them like that. Studies have found, right, that kangaroos actually have a side preference, sort of like humans do. They found that in the wild, 95% of kangaroos and the wallabies that they tested were left dominant. So they put their left to use as much as possible. You know, they can't sign their name yet, but I wouldn't put it past them in the future. All right. <gasps> Fighty, fighty. It's like when you're fighting with your sibling in the back seat. Oh no, the fence! These male kangaroo fights actually can be quite deadly. They do get injured. You'll see adult male kangaroos that might be quite torn up or scarred occasionally. But a lot of it is sort of ritualized wrestling. That's a good freeze frame with him going through the fence though. I mean, the quality of today's workmanship just isn't up to kangaroo fighting standards, is it? See that? He's using his tail to balance right up on his tippy tippy toes. The tail is incredibly strong. They use it for balance when they're standing upright. It's got all of these vertebrae in it, but more than that, it's muscly as hell. This is like another leg. It's incredible and quite unique to the kangaroo. I mean, I wish I had a tail like that, eh? Forget a Brazilian butt lift, I want a kangaroo tail transplant. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> yeah, look, that guy was a bit unlucky. The kangaroo panicked and instead of jumping away, it jumped towards, which is not ideal. Look at the tuck on that leap. That is so cool. I mean, it's not cool for that dude. But yeah, kangaroos are killers. Not in the way you think. So in a 16 year period between 2001 and 2017, there were 37 deaths by kangaroo car accident. When you think of that, 37, there's like 27 deaths from sharks. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what that says. I mean, the sharks need to work harder. <laughs> Oh, no! I've got so many questions. Oh no. Let it go, dogs. Let's go. Oh yeah. There's a lot going on in that video. It's a really good example, I think, of the kangaroo's headlock style. Right? You saw them. It almost looked like they were having a cuddle. For kangaroos, dogs are probably one of its only natural predators. If you think of a dog, it basically resembles a dingo and a dingo, especially a pack of dingoes, multiple dogs, is going to be a threat to kangaroos. Like we saw in this video, what they can do is hold on and kick and injure the dog. They can also drown 
other animals by holding them under water. This is another example of a male using that extreme forearm strength to basically subdue a major predator. That is a big dog, and that kangaroo has it under control, more than the humans did. Kangaroos have evolved a pretty impressive arsenal, and it's clear that if you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, kangaroos can turn into killers. So there you have it, some of Australia's most scary and dangerous animals. Wherever you are going, they will find you. It doesn't matter if you're in the sea or the sky or in the rainforest or even in your own home. Deadliness is everywhere. Thanks for watching through to the end. I actually have a podcast for the ABC called What the Duck. It's like I got on a hotline with all of the weirdest stuff that's out there in nature. I'm talking naked mole rats. I'm talking swizzle penises. If you can think about it, then I can put it on my podcast. So head over there and subscribe.